We just talked about how what? One more year. We're going to talk about Mount Web Mountain, okay? And the thing is, is that if he keeps me flat, this is bad for me. If my legs are together like, like this, this is bad for me, okay? This is bad for me, okay? Because I want to keep him on my hips, okay? If he starts getting on the inside of my elbows and getting time out, this is a real good way for to separate your elbows from your uh, from your sides and then to begin to attack the arms, okay? So what I want, like we did yesterday, is I want to be on my on my side, okay? And I want this whole mechanism part of your legs to be wide, okay? If you notice, the only reason why I can bend my foot right here, parallel with the, with the mat, is just because on my left hip. Watch what happens when I go flat. My leg won't bend all the way, my foot won't bend. For me to bend my foot all the way flat, okay? And have power to be bringing my knee to my elbow, okay? Is just because I'm on my left side hip. With my right foot here, because I can begin to turn even more and spread his knees out and destabilize his position, okay? But then what happens is that he's not gonna just sit here. What happens also is that he begins to scoop my arm with his right hand, okay? And now it gets very difficult, okay? Because now my arm is getting separated, my elbow separated from my hip. And what he wants to do is he just wants to keep walking it up, 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 up. Go. Yeah, the hand, the hand, the hand. To walk it, walk it, walk it. Because here it's very uncomfortable, okay? So for me, what I want to do is I need to bring my elbow in. He's going to be fighting to walk it up, okay? The way I'm going to bring my hip to my elbow or elbow to hip is I'm going to walk my hips to the left, this way, okay? So that I can bring my hip to my elbow, because it's very difficult if he's doing it the proper way to bring my elbow down my hip. Let's go this way, okay? So as I'm here, let's say I'm flat, he's flattening me out, he's controlling my head, he's got the legs here, and I haven't even been able to get my leg flat. He's walking that right hand up, 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 up. And look how hard that is for me to bring that down. I can slow him down by kind of doing this type of motion here, and I'm just gonna walk my hip to my elbow. And I'm gonna grab right here. Okay? From here, my right hand is on his hip. Okay? And I'm also monitoring his left knee here, okay? As my right foot is between, I don't want it out here, between his feet. So that what we can do is, is this right here. I wanna lift up so I can drop my leg onto his leg, okay? As my right hand is still on his hip, and my elbow's in, okay? So as I'm rolling this way, I wanna scoot my hips out, okay? And I wanna get to here as I begin to potentially mount him and walk his arm away. So yes, you see how he's bringing his hip towards his hand, okay? Keep rotating. His right hand is gonna block my hip, and his right elbow is blocking this one, my knee, so I can't get up there, okay, rotate one more time. He's gonna use his right foot to elevate the hips as his left leg stretches and reaches all the way to the left, trapping my leg, yes. And as we go, he hips out right about there. Yes, and this hand is on the hook. There you go, and he gets I have found that this is a very effective way to do what typically is called an upa mouse the upa, conventionally, is basically this. Okay? So his arms here, I trap here, here, put my foot here, okay? And I wanna trap this, see, I gotta trap this foot, okay? So take away his right arm and his right leg base here. The problem is, is that as I begin to bridge, nothing's really stopping him from pulling his foot out. So as I do this, he can go to an S mount, real easy right there. And that really sucks for me, okay? So, when you trap that leg, okay, his arms underneath, okay, and my arms here, because if, if, whenever he's got an underhook, you have an underhook here. Very important. If he gets double underhook, this really sucks here, okay? But still, I can kind of begin to improve my position here by bridging my hip, but I want to trap this here, okay? Cut my shoulder with your right hand, okay? Because even here, I want to be able to trap this leg. Because he can't really get this leg out. Can you pull that leg out? Yeah. Here, 
because he's got the ball in the hooks, it's hard for me to hit out because I'm also connected to him. But what I want you guys to understand is, as he mounts, we got right hands under. This is my underhook, but I can't let this just get extracted here to where he sets up a head on him. One arm ball going the opposite way. Yeah, I need to be able to stop this by trying to get my elbows to my hips. I want that right one on the inside and this left one at least to stop his arms from advancing. Keep walking it. So here it stops it, and I'm just gonna walk my hips to the left as I can get a grip here, and I just lay my leg there. So here, okay, my leg is heavy. You notice my foot's almost touching, but I've got a lot of weight on this calf here as my right hand is pregnant that hip, and as I elevate, that, it's like I'm rolling this way. As I feel his weight shift, I'm gonna put my hips out, and I wanna get this under the here, so that I can begin to already progress, and this is gonna be and now. Okay, does anybody need to see it again? No? Let's try it, one, two, three. Remember, top person is walking their right hand forward and extracting the left hand. All the bottom person.